What's up guys? This is Pooper Scooper here, coming at you with a brand new type of video. So, one of the things that I've wanting to be or I've wanted to do was create a new series. And so I was wondering what's the best way to do that? And I I have quite a few Minecraft single player worlds that I've played on. Um Excuse me, my single player worlds. I have a ton here. I also have a couple on Bedrock as well. Um, so I figured I could make it a little bit of a series. Um, about just walking through some of my old Minecraft worlds and then talking about some of the experiences I had playing this game. Um, uh, I'm not going to do the creative world, uh, but I am going to start off today's video with my very first ever Minecraft video. It's it's actually kind of funny because the first time I ever played Minecraft or ever heard of Minecraft, I thought it was Mindcraft. So I was like, why the heck would I want to play a stupid puzzle game? And then Garrick explained it to me. He was actually the one that told me about Minecraft. He said, no, it's like a, a digging game, and you play with your friends, it's really fun. Minecraft. And I was like, oh. So I, I immediately downloaded it when I figured out what it was, and I, I immediately fell in love. I played a ton with them, and then eventually I made my very first single player world. I originally started playing in 2011, and if I have it correct here, I think I must have started this world in beta 1.1. Um, because I think I, I swear I started this server in beta 1.1. It's my first server. Um, hmm. Let's let's just load it up. Uh, we should probably back up and load. Just in case. I have, have played on this world in several updates after 1.1. So some of these things are not new or original. Um, so we're just going to sleep real quick. I'm pretty sure this world has no stronghold. Or if it does, I, I don't know where it spawned. But look at this. This is how I used to set up my inventory. It's kind of funny. Um... But yeah, check it out. This is uh, my my house. It's an original obsidian box because I was so afraid of creepers coming and just blowing up my crap. A and they would, I was very bad at the game. First though, I I'd like to show this, this box right here. This might look like an ordinary cobble box, but this is how I know that we started this world in Minecraft 1.1 because I made this box as the spawn. This was the spawn box. So when you spawned in, you wouldn't get uh, just attacked. So that is that there, there was no beds back then. And I, as soon as the beds got released, that, that, that box didn't need to be there anymore. And I just never got rid of it because I was lazy. Um, so this was our house. I think it was originally wood, and then I wanted it to be indestructible, so I made it into obsidian. Um, we have it pretty well lit up in here. Um, cakes in the middle, <laughs> and a nice glass ceiling. Um, we have a lot of weirdly, weirdly sorted chests. I don't know why I have so many buckets, and why they're all in that configuration. Um, yeah, this is just... I, I eventually, I, I, I remember I started playing this world again for some reason after um, enchantment tables came out. Um, and I just came in this world and I was like, you know what, I want to play it again. I just want to reminisce. And uh, so I came in here and I added this, uh, this little expansion with an enchantment table on the back. So that's why that's there. Um, it wasn't there for the longest time, but it, 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 it was added eventually. And... So I don't remember when the nether update came out, um, 
Uh, let me go check. I take it back, the nether was already a thing when I started playing Minecraft. But I remember it being like very elusive and very scary. I, lo I, I died several times in this nether. Um, and I, I, I'm pretty sure that these used to be on fire, like, like, um, but it, they kept burning my house down, so I had to change them to torches. But this is my small little wheat field that was keeping me alive. That was back before hunger was added as well. Oh, check out these doors. Beautiful. These are my, my dogs all, all added with my favorite color, orange. They're all chilling. I had a nice dog farm because it's actually funny. Wolves, when they were first added, I think it was 1.3. I I could not find them to save my life. And I eventually found one, but I didn't have any bones. And he kept despawning. So I figured out like one chunk where he would spawn. It's way over there. And I, I built a little cove. I don't know if it's still there. Um... But they were always spawned there. That's that's where I I I, I captured my dogs from. Um, check out this nice little stone path though. And actually, props to this this fountain, but it could probably get killed. Um, this is an entirely self-man-made forest. I I I used this for my um my wood needs. Um, and. This little base is my attempt at um, just a, a little a little outpost to view things. It's not very good, um, but it, it is what it is. It's a. Uh, it, I was pretty young. I if if it was 2011, then that means I was. Uh, it's 20, 2020 right now. Um, 2011 was nine years ago, nine years ago, 20, 22 minus nine, that's, um, 12, I was, I was 11 or 12 playing this game. Does that math, math that up? 11. So yeah, I don't think this nether is the same as it used to be. I'm kind of scared to go through it, but we'll see. I don't know what's on the other side. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I do remember this. Actually, I remember this very well. Um, so this Nether is extremely laggy, probably because it's very old. I <laughs> I have beds here, which is actually really funny because this uh, there's two beds right here. And this is back when, I don't know if beds exploded yet, or if, if I just didn't know that. But anyways, I figured out quickly that they exploded, and that put quite a dent in my, I, I died a couple times trying to figure that out. Uh, I put a little little tree farm in here, because I wanted to be like self-sustaining, and, and I guess look at the nether now, we have great new nether update coming out that's gonna be awesome um i guess my original nether portal is down there so we'll head back through i never got any of the brewing stuff or a fortress i don't think there would ever be one that would spawn in this world just because of how far back it is i would have to travel probably pretty far um to find some new chunks because i i did explore quite a lot of it um this is my little sugarcane farm i i have it on dirt which is, it's it's sad. Um, little chicken farm. I didn't have any farms, really. Well, I, I had a cow farm and a sheep farm. One sheep. But it, I didn't really go too hard with the farms. Um, this was supposed to be a giant TNT block that I never finished. Uh, I don't know why I wanted to do it, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I started it, and my sheep got killed by... By something, I think one of my dogs got out and killed the sheep, or or however that works. But they they uh they got killed pretty quickly. Um. So yeah, I had to put a halt on that plan. 
Now down here we have this is the dock. This is where you'd come, you'd get, you'd get your boats out, you put them down and you'd go you'd go riding off into the ocean. Um the cactus farm was right here cuz we needed that that good cacti for whatever reason. Oh boy. This right here is the underwater man cave. So let's head down here. Um, eat some food real quick. And we will find... Um, this, this is probably a lot better of an idea now than it was back then. But it is an underwater base. Uh, there's nothing too crazy about it, but it's... Um, I thought it was pretty special back in the day because it was underwater. It's a lot cooler now that there's obviously dolphins and and other fish that you could make it a lot cooler and um, kelp and stuff like that because of the aquatic update. But we didn't we didn't have that back then. Minecraft wasn't as exciting as it as it's uh, been now. We had, we had to we had to make our own fun. So right this right here right this. This thing, it's a uh, it's a mob dropper. It's a very classic mob dropper, dropper, and I do not think it works anymore. It uh used, a, um, pretty sure it was, a layer of three blocks, then seven blocks, which was water. It would push mobs down to the next three. And they'd they'd walk into the water again, but it it doesn't work anymore because, um. I'm pretty sure mobs they don't they don't fall when they're pushed by water anymore. So unless we see something fall anytime soon, that it's uh, it worked at the time, but it it's it's non-functional anymore. And it, it uh it serves a great reminder, a great reminder to um warm summer days playing Minecraft. I, th I, this this took a lot of time for me to build, um, especially as, as bad as Minecraft I was. I I looked up a lot of YouTube videos. I don't remember whose. Um, there was some Captain Sparkles. There was um, uh, uh, just a bunch of other people. PewDiePie when he started playing Minecraft originally. This this thing, this thing holds some nostalgia with me. This whole world holds a lot of nostalgia. Um, it's actually funny. I thought this pattern, with built with dirt, um, I thought this was the coolest thing. And it actually doesn't look bad, but it is a square house, which is funny. Um, uh, there's a lot of a lot of good times I had in this world. I. I died a lot. I lived a lot. I, I I wish I knew how many hours I put into the server, but I don't think the statistics were available then. Teams quit three. Time slept in a bed is only one. Mobs killed six. So yeah, that's that's not even close to what it actually is. This server is 11 years old, and I'm actually still surprised it's it's running. Um, but you know that's that's why Minecraft is such a great game. It's because you can you can get on here and you can you can have such great memories just playing a single player world. You you build stuff and you just you experience things at exploring. It's it's awesome. There's just so much you can do and and even being alone in a single player world you just have there's infinite possibilities there's infinite things you can do um so yeah i think this is going to be probably one of the shorter episodes and i don't know how long these episodes are gonna be um and i don't know how long i'm gonna uh, how long I'm going to make between each release. Um, I, I haven't even made the intro yet. Uh, 
I didn't actually, I, do, I don't script any of these videos, so I didn't know what to say really. So I just kind of wanted to do a walkthrough. I guess let's go dive down into the mine. I think I actually have a base down there. Um, this mine is rough. A, a creeper blew up right there, actually. I remember that. That hurt. It jukes you out. I, rem I do remember that. Ah, oh, there was a mob spawner right here and I broke it. How stupid of me. That was before experience though, actually. There was no experience back then. Look at this, layer 16. That's what I thought that the perfect block layer was on in this game. And this is actually... I'm surprised I remembered this. We have a little cave down here with a garbage disposal and everything. Because cobble is just everywhere. Nice little, little glass. This is all, little blo all blocked off. So mobs can't get in here. Nothing too special, but it's special to me. Um, I think I actually remember getting diamonds. Hmm, never mind. I thought I remember getting diamonds somewhere around here. Maybe it was... I think it was down here a little bit, but I think it does go down to bedrock down there. I'm pretty sure I made a big strip mine down at bedrock, like... Uh, just took a big layer out. Um, but, either way... Let's head back up to the surface. Uh, I don't really play on this world anymore. Um, it pretty much just it. I have it uh, on a uh, a flash drive actually. Uh, it's a nostalgic world. I have a lot of good good memories and feelings associated with this place. Um, I also like how I have the dirt pillars with torches on them in the water. The things I would have done for sea pickles back then. Oh, and I also forgot my cellar that we started off in. Um, I added this, I don't remember when, at some point. But this was just, uh, extra storage. I have my, my first ever diamond armor set. Um, this is, yeah, just storage for all the, the things I had. Because I was running out of space up top. And I like the lapis and how it looked, so it's it's all it's all throughout down here. But yeah, uh, there's not much more to explore in this world. Um, it's pretty basic, even though I've spent a lot of time on this. Um, you know, it just goes to show you'll you're you're gonna see a lot in this series, this this short series, because I don't have that many worlds. But in the worlds you do see, you'll see a lot of uh, advancement. This is the first ever one, so if you compare this to probably my newest one, it, it should look a lot different. But but yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video and you want to see more of my solo single player world tours, then um, let me know down in the comments below. You can also let me know by shooting me a uh, thumbs up and also hitting that subscribe button. So thanks for watching and um, I'll see you next time.